In the waters and sandy beaches of Indonesia, a well-armored marine puts his superb senses into action. The hermit crab. Despite the name, hermit crabs are more closely related to lobsters than crabs. Lacking a hard shell of their own, these masters of disguise make camp in the abandoned shells of others. Most hermit crab species spend their entire lives underwater, but a few special forces conquered the land and evolved equipment to do it. Hermit crabs experience the world mainly through their antennae, it's a tactic they share with all other crustaceans. The coconut crab, a subspecies of hermit crab that can stretch one meter from leg to leg, uses its antennae to sniff out food from up to 50 meters away. While some of its antennae work like feelers, the first pair of antennae between the eyes are coated with hairs sensitive to scent chemicals. They serve these Navy SEALs as super sniffers underwater and on the beach, but they work in different ways on land and at sea. Though these special forces possess other senses, they depend mainly on their fine-tuned antennae. And this information is what keeps him alert to danger so that he can hide in time. But how do these super senses work? Underwater, hermit crabs sniff by flicking their antennae back and forth, trapping fluid in the spaces between hairs. By adjusting the speed and direction of their antennae, they can either collect a new water sample or hang on to an old one, buying enough time to thoroughly analyze it. A large part of the hermit crab's brain is dedicated to processing the scents and tastes that their antennae pick up. This one has detected dead fish, a welcome change from his usual filter feeding on the sand. But sniffing out food isn't as important as locking onto the scent of a dead hermit crab. In fact, their ability to detect a deceased comrade is 10 times stronger than their skill at smelling a potential meal. That's because a dead hermit crab means a new shell is available, and this hermit crab is hoping to occupy it. These special forces have to find larger shells as they grow. But the competition is fierce, so they have to fight for it. The biggest fighter wins the prize, but his vacated shell won't go to waste as another crab moves in. On the beach, crabs sniff in a different way. They flick their antennae too, but unlike marine crabs, these Navy SEALs pick up scents from the air flowing around the antennae rather than between the hairs. And the more humid the air, the more keen their sense of smell. They also have a sharp fragrance memory. To reduce conflicts with other hermit crabs, these special forces remember each other's odor. Once two hermits have clashed, they avoid each other.
After this Navy SEAL learned who outranked him, he'll set out to find a new beachhead to claim as his own. For our next Navy SEAL candidates, we leave the beaches of Indonesia and travel across the Indian Ocean. We emerge on an island off Africa's east coast, a peculiar place large enough to be the Earth's unofficial eighth continent. On the shores of Madagascar, though also found in Southeast Asia and Australia, lives a small fish with a very big difference, the proverbial fish out of water. Among the mangrove trees hops the mud skipper. These amphibious fish spend up to 90% of their day on salty mudflats, special forces looking to eat small bugs and crustaceans. While their ability to breathe in and out of water is remarkable enough, their super sense eyesight adds to their Navy SEAL skills. Their eyes have to adjust to see in two worlds because a mudskipper's eyes are on turrets. He can raise and lower them like a periscope. Since this Navy SEAL needs to avoid enemies in the surf and on the sand, he'd better keep a sharp eye out. Though the mud skipper isn't very large, his bulbous eyes have more light and color receptors than many predatory fish. But there's a compromise. Because he spends most of his time out of the water, his eyes are flatter than normal fish eyes, so he can see better in the air than underwater. This one's patrolling the coast of Southeast Asia. And though he doesn't have eyelids or tear ducts, he's the only fish that can blink, dipping his eyes into a pouch to keep them moist. As these special forces sweep the sand for their meals, they seem totally in control. Ferociously pursuing and terrorizing small prey. But these 12 centimeter beach bullies waste no time retreating from the beachhead when they spy a bigger foe. Their rotating eyes work independently. Facing front, their vision overlaps, creating a field of stereo vision about 15 degrees wide. Each eye can also look behind, creating two 180 degree fields on each side and also above and below. They can move their eyes up and down and side to side without ever having to rotate their head. That's a great advantage over other fish eyes because a Navy SEAL never knows where its enemies are coming from. The ever vigilant skipper knows when it's time to hit the bunker. When the coast is clear, another highly visible adventure begins. This male is looking for a mate, and that means he has to be seen. Leaping advertises his virility, but he faces competition. Ooh. 
Though the rivals manage the occasional body slam, the goal is to intimidate, not to wound. Again, it's all about visuals. Whoever looks more frightening wins the mate. The loser has to look for love in a different territory. For now, this Navy SEAL's retreating to the water. Leaving the sweltering heat of the beaches of Southeast Asia, we search for our next Navy SEAL recruits in the mercilessly cold waters up north. These Special Forces Raiders live along the coast of the Pacific Ocean in North America and also in Asia and Europe. This particular family thrives near the coast of Alaska's Prince William Sound. Sea otters. While mudskippers are fish that live mainly on land, sea otters are mammals that live mostly in the water. Aside from being resistant to cold, sea otters are very sensitive, especially when it comes to their super sense of touch. Since these special forces hunt in the water and have to hold their breath, they can't rely on their sense of smell. So they probe for their prey using the whiskers around their mouths. They also have dexterous forelimbs for handling their food. When he's not floating on the water's surface, this Navy SEAL is diving to the bottom to look for sea urchins and shellfish. But his eyes are almost useless down there. The dark and murky water can make hunting a shot in the dark. So he must find his food by feeling for it. His sense of touch is so sensitive, he can tell a muscle from a clam. And he can hold his breath for up to five minutes. Flaps automatically seal his ears and nostrils from the water, leaving only the whiskers to guide the way. The sea otter is the only marine animal able to move rocks around, picking them up or knocking them away with his forelimbs. The sea otter can identify prey simply by brushing it with its sensitive whiskers or vibrissae. Its face sports an array of about 120 of them. By comparison, a cat has only about 24. The whiskers are arranged in an orderly pattern, and each is attached to elastic tissues and nerves, transporting the tactile information to the brain. Thanks to his high-tech whiskers, catching prey might be the easy part. The real work comes in trying to open their armored meal. It requires another SEAL training tactic, tool use. The otter uses rocks to pry its prey from the ocean bottom and to crack open its shell. Usually by placing the prey on its chest and pounding it with a rock. The sea otter then enjoys its meal, lounging on its back in the sea. They even sleep in that position.
Not many other animals are so handy. These special forces are the only marine mammals that grab their food with their forelimbs rather than their teeth. Sea otters are social animals, and by growing up in groups and learning together, they form a truly solid seal team. Tool use, tactile sensitivity, and their semi-amphibious lifestyle make sea otters the perfect candidates for nature's Navy SEALs. Our next elite SEAL team candidates is an expert at sending coded messages. He patrols the freshwater swamps of North America, and the future of his line depends on his success. The Everglades National Park in Florida is home to a special forces warrior with super senses practically perfected by evolution. Resting on the banks or cruising the waters are the alligators. Almost unchanged for millions of years, these social reptiles have mastered strategies for survival and reproduction. When it comes to courtship, these Navy SEALs strike all the right notes. When it's time to mate, males telegraph the message by producing infrasonic vibrations. Female gators are tuned into their frequency, ready to respond. Like any good relationship, communication is the key. These special forces camp out in close proximity to one another, but they like to keep to themselves. To establish their boundaries, gators of both sexes bellow or roar. But mating time calls for a different technique, a secret signal designed to travel far and which is almost undetectable to us. Besides loud bellowing in the water, male alligators vibrate their flanks, sending the water and subsonic sound waves into motion. The signal travels far and wide to anyone with the super senses to detect it. These advertisement calls are an invitation to far-ranging females to come and mate. And even if we can't hear them, we can see them. In courtship season, one Navy SEAL's bellow can trigger others. A male bellows, a female bellows in response. Others join in, spreading the message for hundreds of meters. Female bellowing isn't as loud as males, and they don't produce infrasound. The Special Forces suitors usually compete peaceably with one another, but not always. The female picks up the signal and heads toward its source, responding with calls of her own. The male's bellow can be as loud as the deck of an aircraft carrier, but at the bottom range of human hearing, so we can't hear it. The vibration can spread up to 1.5 kilometers. Females feel it rather than hear it. They pick it up with the part of the ear that's more closely associated with balance rather than sound.
These Navy SEALs courts by sights and sound. What female alligator wouldn't be impressed by a guy who can make the water dance? Without making a sound, at least a sound that we can hear, the male has talked the female into mating with him. She may have walked and swam a long way to meet him, but she won't be his only partner. All this effort in finding one another seems rather complex compared to the act of mating itself, which lasts only about 30 seconds. When they're done, the female will retreat to her nest, lay her eggs, and take care of her young. Such is the power of this Navy SEAL's top secret signal that passes life from one generation to the next. Life began in the water. And for some special forces, it remains the ultimate evolutionary proving ground, pushing them beyond the normal limits. Highly adapted to their habitat, they become the Navy SEALs. Orcas use infrasonic signals to dominate their domain. Their click trains bounce off and lock onto potential prey. Salmon memorize the Earth's magnetic field to orient themselves thousands of miles from their home base. Platypuses tap into the tiny electric field of their prey in the murky waters. The current generated by a muscle twitch is all it takes. Whereas water striders read the vibrations of the water they walk upon. At a distance, their legs can distinguish between friend, foe, and food. Hermit crabs sample the air with their finely tuned antennae, steering clear of rival crabs and sniffing out molecules of potential meals in the humid seaside air. Mud skippers, always on alert for enemies on land, sea, and air, keep an eye out in all directions, ready to dash to safety. Sea otters hunt blind. When they dive for food, their super sensitive vibrasse get the job done. Alligators' love songs are inaudible to humans, but their infrasonic signals are seductive nonetheless. They have the power to shake the water and win hearts. All these adaptations, super specialized, highly effective, qualify these animals for the ranks of the Navy SEALs.